If you're happy and you know it, go for a run. If you're happy and you know it, do some exercise. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, could exercise help? You put a smile on your dial. Uh, coming at you from my office, my name's Rowie. This is the Romax channel where you learn to live, or I live my life to the max, and I would love you to live your life to the max. And this is my office. Interestingly, I have a tread desk, which is uh, no sitting down, no chair in my office. When I'm at my desk, I'm work, work, walking, working, working and walking is what I'm trying to say. I have a treadmill for running, and I have a cross trainer uh, for days that my body doesn't like to be pounded. I also have a set of weights in, in my office, and I also have a boxing bag. And I also live with a steep driveway and soft sand and lots of places to exercise. Who the hell cares is probably the question that you're asking. Uh, the reason I'm asking you this question uh, is uh, every day people share with me that they're not very happy and that their life's not going the way they want it to. And they often share with me in the same breath that they don't have time to exercise. Even though, is it possible that if you exercise, you could have a better day? So why do we skip exercise? If, we, if we're if we busy, if it's hot, if it's cold, if we've got work to do, why is it that exercise gets dropped? Now, the next part of that, which even makes less sense, is if I'm on holidays or if I'm going on a trip or if I've got a, an event coming up or a lot of people just say, well, I'm too busy, I, I have to drop some things, so I'm gonna drop my exercise. Well, I'm gonna ask the reverse question. Is it possible that if you exercise, everything else in your life becomes easier? Is it possible that if you are fit and strong, everything in your life that's challenging becomes easier to overcome as a challenge? And the reason, again, that I'm asking is so many people who drop their exercise program also share with me that they have a stack of challenges, that they're stressed, that they're miserable, that they're depressed, that life is not going the way they want it to but they're not doing any exercise. Now, here's an interesting question. If you're busy, or if you're going on holidays, or if it's hot or if it's cold, do you still brush your teeth? Do you still have a shower? Do you still eat food? Do you still wear clothes? Now, they seem like ridiculous questions, because uh, <laughs> I've exercised every day of my life since I was 10 years of age, and people think that I'm a fanatical weirdo. But here's, <laughs> here's the question that I always respond with. Yes, I've exercised every day, but I've also, like you, have you had a shower every day? Have you brushed your teeth every day? Have you worn clothes every day? Have you breathed air every day? Uh, have you eaten food every day? All the things that we do every day that we would never miss. Why does exercise get dropped off? And I go a step further. Uh, is it possible <laughs> that it would be better to drop the other things off but not your exercise? Uh, if you are fit and strong, is it possible that if you skip a couple of meals, it won't matter? If you're fit and strong, and I would never not brush my teeth and I would never not have a shower, but if I had to choose, I would rather exercise and miss my shower or exercise and miss brushing my teeth than not exercise because of the chemical changes that happen inside the human body when you exercise. Because a lot of people relate exercise, and I get this, it's about looking good and ripped abdominals and tight butt cheeks and losing weight and burning calories and 10,000 steps and all the things that go with the, the stuff of the exercise industry. But what if we look at exercise in a different way? What if we look at it as a normal part of life and even more importantly, an injection of antidepressant? What if exercise had the ability to get your brain to function more effectively so that you could do everything in your life better? And uh, I say that with a very, uh, I try not to sound sarcastic because that's to me that's just an obvious. And I'm not talking about long distance exercise. I'm not talking about long exercising for a long time. And I think that the two of the things that or the reasons why people don't exercise or drop their exercise program, because people often say, well, I haven't got time to go to the gym for an hour, so I won't exercise at all. Or even I haven't got time to go to the gym, so I won't exercise at all. Uh, I haven't got time to do a 45 minute class. I haven't got time to go for a 30 minute run. So I won't exercise at all, which is why I think that the dentists have got it right because we brush our teeth for one minute, maybe two. Uh, and I think if the dentist said you have to brush your teeth for 30 minutes, we probably wouldn't do it. But because they've suggested a short term fix or short term solution, a short solution to a big challenge, 
people brush their teeth and most people do even in third and fourth world countries if people haven't got a toothbrush they still get a stick to clean their teeth because it feels yucky if you don't clean your teeth well here's a question that I always ask how do you feel if you don't brush your teeth for two or three days I hope you don't know the answer but there are people who not only haven't exercised for two or three days they haven't exercised for two or three years and wonder why they feel so crappy the, the beautiful thing about exercise, high intense exercise, where you get puffed and you lift heavy or a combination of both. So you work in the phosphate system, which simply means the energy system, the fight and flight system of your body, which gives us the all the chemical changes required to run away from the wild animal or turn and fight the wild animal. Now we haven't evolved from it, fighting wild animals, obviously, but we don't have them chasing us anymore. So we have to create our own high intense activity for fighting and flighting because that intense activity, yes, produces all the drugs that helps us do that. So if you put your body under pressure, your body will handle it. It'll produce epinephrine, adrenaline, cortisol. The catecholamine system opens up all the cells in your body to be able so that you can fight and flight. That's awesome. But the off offset of that, which I think... Uh, it not only is it for me really exciting, but I think we either never learned it or we've forgotten, is that we get rewarded for that. If you kill the animal or if you run away from the animal, you fight and flight or both, and you are now a winner, <laughs> uh, your body says congratulations by producing dopamine, a reward neurotransmitter in your brain, which makes you feel good. You feel like a bloody legend serotonin which no one really understands but technically it's called the satisfaction neurotransmitter you feel happy with your life regardless of what's going on around you you produce endorphins which are happy drugs that also reduce pain and you produce brain derived neurotropic factor which is fertilizer for your brain so when you put a combination of all of those together you become this happy human being you've changed the chemicals in your brain from I'm stressed, I'm scared, I've got to get away from the wild animal, or I'm tired, lethargic, unenergetic, can't be bothered, you go in almost an instant because the phosphate system is only 10 seconds. So this is why my office is such a powerful uh, neurotransmitting uh, space because I've got a, yes, I walk on my, on my tread desk. There's no high intensity happening there because I can't type and sprint at the same time. But about every 15 minutes, without fail, I either sprint on the treadmill, I get on the cross trainer and go flat out, I punch the bag, I do push-ups, I do weight training, I do something where I increase my heart rate to that 100% phosphate. So I make every muscle and bone and ligament, tendon and joint, heart, lungs, endocrine system, uh, central nervous system all fire up so that I get a chemical change in my, in my brain. And that's why I'm happy all the time. And that's why I get accused of being fanatically happy all the time. You can't be happy all the time, Rowie. Well, you bloody can. Because if you force your brain to produce happy drugs, you can't be unhappy when you're filled up with happy drugs. The world is chasing that feeling. The, the pharmaceutical antidepressants are the, the largest produced drug in the world and the most prescribed drug in the world. And if you add to that heroin, cocaine, marijuana, gambling, smoking, drinking, shopping, all the things that people do to try and get that dopamine rush, you can get it in 10 seconds by doing high intense activity. Why would you drop that? If you're a heroin addict, God forbid, you would do everything possible. And most, most people that have ever been involved in that, that process of drug addiction will tell you that an, a drug addicted person would miss everything, shower, food, family they break down their family unit because they've got to have the drug but exercise which is more powerful than heroin cocaine marijuana methamphetamine because it gives the same high rush in the headspace but the side effects are a little bit different if you're fit and strong, the side effects are your brain works more effectively, you think more creatively, you can overcome challenges. You're obviously going to be fitter, leaner, stronger. You're going to stay that way for longer, if not your whole life. Your chances of getting, uh, a, yes, you'll get attacked by germs, bugs, viruses and diseases, but you'll fight them off and you'll either never get sick or if you do get sick, you'll get better so much quicker and it's much less likely that that germ bug or virus will ever be able to attack you again because your immune system will be so strong. 
hair, skin, nails, bones, teeth, bright eyes. That's why I, I will share with you, I'd rather skip a shower and a meal and brushing my teeth and skip my exercise session. Because what exercise does for us is the most powerful weapon, mechanism, plan. Exercise is the thing. The, the top medical professionals put it like this. Exercise is medicine and medicine is exercise. If you don't want to get sick, take the medicine of exercise. If you are sick, take the medicine of exercise and you'll get better, quicker, faster, and get rid of it for, forever, if not uh, and even the top killer diseases, coronary heart disease, type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, depression, uh, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, most cancers, all of those, the top medical professionals are saying exercise is medicine, medicine is exercise. So here's my question, why would you skip your exercise? Maybe set up your life like I have so that I can't miss. But the beautiful thing is it's at the moment it's, minus outside minus degrees it's blowing and i'll just quickly share with you uh we had a joke today because where we live in new zealand it's the hottest place in new zealand it's the driest place in new zealand it's the windiest place in, literally the windiest place in new zealand it's also the coldest place in new zealand it has the most fog it has everything where i live has everything so right now to go outside and exercise it, the wind will blow me over it's minus degrees uh it's it's just not, and it's dark for a start. But I would never not exercise. It's part of my life. So I set my life up so I can't miss, regardless of what's going on outside. But if you know anything about my life, my, my exercise, I would much prefer to be outside, running up and down the driveway. I lift rocks and gravel and sand and wheelbarrows. And, and I'm, a, I'm an outdoor person. Huff and puff, lift heavy things, turn my body into a... I rattle them off. A germ bug and virus fighting machine, disease fighting machine, a happy drug pumping machine, a food fast food burning machine, a body that looks good, feels good, has a stack of energy, performs at its best. You love what you see in the mirror. And of course, you're going to get great results if you're fit and strong for every part of your life. So my question, please, if you are ever considering that it's you're too busy or it's too cold, too hot, you don't have time to exercise, could a better question to ask be this, what if I don't exercise? And how long does it take to get into the habit of not exercising? So I oh, miss today, miss tomorrow, miss the next day, miss the next day. And before you know it, three months have gone past and you haven't done any exercise. Imagine not brushing your teeth for three months. Imagine not brushing your teeth for three days. Uh, I, would, I would never miss brushing my teeth, <laughs> never. Uh, but exercise is, for me, the driving force to keep my body going in every area of my life. So rather than skipping exercise, how about we make it the number one priority? If you want to be a happy drug pumping machine, germ bug and virus fighting machine, be in great shape, be healthy, fit and strong for the rest of your life and have a body and a brain that loves to live its life. Exercise is medicine. Medicine is exercise. May we ne never need any other kind of medicine. Thank you for coming to Romax. My name's Rowie. I would love you to live your life to the max. And because we're on YouTube, I would love it if you could share this special message with the people in your life. If you think that I can add value to their life, I would love it if you subscribe to this fun, happy, positive place to hang out every day. I would love it if you leave me a comment because I will always respond. And most importantly, please live your life to the max because you can. I feel good. Na, 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 na. I knew that I would now. Na, 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 na. So good. Yeah, yeah. So good because I exercise. Woohoo.